Welcome all you happy fiber artists. This is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. Today I'm going to talk to you about crocheting a pumpkin. I started a tradition a couple of years ago that every autumn I'm going to make a pumpkin, a fiber art pumpkin, one way or another, and then have a wonderful collection that grows over the years. So I want to show you this yarn. I correspond this yarn quite a few months ago. And the reason it's coarse bun is I wanted to show off the purple and the orange and not have it all just mushed together. So now I'm going to get working on the pumpkin and I'll tell you all about it. The pumpkin came out great. It's a crochet pattern called Pumpkin Stuffy by Paula Gaumer Tuk. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. There are a couple of really wonderful things about it. It goes very quickly and there's a lot of leniency on what yarn you can use. Her pattern calls for a smaller, finer yarn than what I used. My coarse bun was thicker. I used a size I crochet hook, which is 5.25 millimeters. It made for a rather tight crochet, which is good because you don't want to see the stuffing on the inside. What was funny is that it calls for a certain amount of rows. And I was playing a bit of yarn roulette because I didn't really know how much I had. I had lost the paper on what I had, and but it worked out because when I ran out of yarn, there was enough to make the roundness of the pumpkin. And then I go, well, that makes sense. Thicker, bigger yarn is gonna go further. And so I didn't complete all the rows in the pattern, but there was enough. So that's how that worked out. I'm really happy that this coarse bun yarn worked for this because back when I was doing the coarse bun, I did it purposely just to see the color of the yarn, not knowing what I would use it for. Coarse bun feels like it's more to be used for some things rather than others. And so this was perfect. Glad it got to be used and the purple and orange colors work great for the pumpkin. So I'm glad it worked out. The finishing touches, she has in the pattern, you can make the stem and you can make the tendril. I had some cinnamon sticks from last year. I used it for my stem and then I did make the tendril that's in the pattern. Really fun, great to do. All right, now it's time for the little bit extra fun talk. I wanna remind you that the world is your playground for your hobby. Remember when you're out and about to look and explore, that makes traveling so much more fun. Recently, my husband and I were in Vermont and these wonderful historic towns that we're going through, of course, I was looking ahead like, is there a yarn store there? What's there? And this one town had an antique shop. I popped in there and what do you know? They had a fiber corner. I was able to get some yarn that has some mohair and sparkles in it. I can use it for something. What do you know, they had buttons. I already got the project going for this. These are great to have on hand, good stuff. Did find a yarn store in another town called St. Albans. The owner is Katie Collins. First of all, the main street of the town, super great. Check it out. Then right off main street and up the road a little bit is her home, which has the yarn store in it. Going up the street, I'm thinking these homes are grand. They're just these beautiful old historic homes. And then at hers, off to the side, she's got this part that is the yarn shop. Popped in there to see what I could find and explore. We had a wonderful visit. It is really fun being with other fiber artists. And when we're like talking about the same things we know and like, it really does make community seem smaller. It's wonderful. She has a wonderful array of yarns. Um, so do I here. So I did not find anything I could use at the moment. However, I did not want to leave this store empty handed because it's fun to have treasures from wherever I go. So I was looking around. She had a great selection of buttons, a bunch of kid buttons. I picked them up and already my brain started spinning on, oh, I'm going to make a project for kids. Fun stuff. Also, she had a store stitch marker, which I got because I like to dangle them from my fiber bag always on the lookout for those. And I collect stickers. So great treasure hunt, found a bunch of treasures. So just remember, there's awesome stuff out there. Look around and go for it and have a great time. Okay. Happy autumn pumpkin making and thanks for watching.